You guys never asked me to do one. You guys are scared like you never did your homework, which makes me very scared that you're not prepared to move on. Um, so we have f of x equals negative cosine of 4x. So a couple things you need to remember is whenever we have a negative or a function, we're going to have a reflection. Then I need to know what my amplitude is. That's going to be absolute value of my a, which is absolute value of negative 1. Remember, the a is in front. So that's going to be 1. So therefore, I'm not going to be going any more higher than the parent graph. Then I need to find the period, which remember is 2 pi over b. Now remember when we had fractions, and now you guys are like, we have that whole conversation. These ones have been pretty easy. You're just going to be 2 pi over b. b is your number in front of x. So you have 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. Now this one's going to be kind of similar to uh, what are you talking about, Cody? So once you have your amplitude and your period, you can get the beginning stages of your graph. Right? So we know it's going to go up to 1 and down to 1. Then we know that this is a cosine graph. Okay, so we know that it's going to end. That means it's going to complete one cycle. Actually, let me make this closer so I can do two cycles there. We know that it's going to complete one cycle at pi over 2. Right? That means it's going to start here and it's going to end here. However, I need to figure out the other important points. There's four important points the max. The min, well actually these are the max, and actually for a cosine graph you're going to have your two intercepts and your minimum. Um, but either way we need four important points. We need to figure out what these four important points. On the cosine graphs these are going to be your two intercepts and your minimum point. So if I have period is pi over 2, what I need to do is I need to divide that into four equal parts. So you divide by 4. All right. So we have a fraction divided by another number. To get rid of our fraction, we need to multiply by its reciprocal. Now, that cancels out, and I'm left with pi over 8. Okay, so you can simply just do this. We know that the first one's pi over 8. This will be 2 pi over 8, which reduces down to 1 fourth. This is 3 pi over 8, right? And then this one would be 4 pi over 8, which reduces down to 1 half. Is everybody following me with what I did? Yeah. Okay. Really, the probably the most thing you guys are getting messed up is the algebra right here of finding pi over 8. But besides that, all you do is you just know that these are your two intercepts. Here's going to be your minimum. And then you can just keep on adding pi over 8. So this would be 5 pi over 8. And without reducing it, I'll just keep it like this 6 pi over 8. 7 pi over 8, 8 pi over 8. And you just keep on going. And I have a really bad. <laughs> but either way, yeah, it's not really spaced out that well. But whatever, you get the point. Yes? You said it was a reflection. What does it show the reflection? It does not show the reflection. Thank you for reminding me about the reflection. So this is what your graph looks like, right? Right? This is what the general form is. But thank you. We need to remember that there's also reflection, which I thought, which I forgot last class too, right? Yeah. So it's going to be the exact same graph, but we just need to look at this. So I wanted to make sure I showed you what the graph looks like, and then we can work on the reflection, <laughs> of course. So the reflection is just going to be the exact opposite. Like DNA. <laughs> so therefore, the red will now show you what your graph looks like. Thank you. And that's your graph. I know, I know. But it literally is sometimes, guys, when you have like, especially what we're going to do today, we're going to be talking about like shifts and transformations. Um, it is, uh, you know, you do just want to make sure you get each one of those done and then get all your transformations at the end. But does anybody have any questions on what I did for that? No? Yeah.